what do you get when you combine bread with a skateboard? A breadboard. And note that if your future projects ever look like this, you're either doing something wrong or doing something really right. Alright, real quick tutorial on how to use a breadboard. Here is a diagram that I'm working in with a program called Fritzing. And uh, it allows me to drag and drop electrical components and also uh, work with a breadboard. Uh, shown here in the top is a breadboard. You also have one in your kit of parts. Um, try to locate it now and get it out just so you can visualize what we're dealing with here. So the breadboard is organized into uh, there, there's a couple different features you need to, re to recognize. The first is this channel in the middle here. And you should everyone should have this middle channel. You can run your finger through it. This is a dividing kind of you can think of it as a dividing line. So it's going to divide the, the right hand side of the board from the left hand side of the board. The main breadboard area is this the central part and it has you'll see numbers on the side uh, I don't know if does this diagram have it yeah this diagram does have it if I zoom in here you can see see where it says one so here's like here's uh, row one two three and these are this is just fritzing drawing uh, wires for okay but these wires actually don't make any sense and I'll show you why because the rows in our breadboard in the center part are connected. So this point right here is already con connected. A is already connected to E. A is already connected to B, C, D, E. So what's, what's actually happening is under this breadboard are a bunch of strips of metal. And so when I plug a wire in, I'm actually, see how those yellow uh, dots light up? I'm actually connecting not only this point to this wire, but all of these points are connected to this wire. So say I, uh, well, let's just do an example. Say I want to make um, a connection to the Arduino. I could connect it, so let's say, to pin 13, uh, which is our, remember, that's our LED, our LED pin, right? And so if I want to connect an LED up, let me see if I can find the LED here. Light emitting diode. Do they have a basic light emitting diode I can use? And yeah, here's just a basic LED. So we're going to stick that guy in there. And we also need a resistor. Uh, we're not going to specify what uh, value of resistor resistance yet. Oh, huh? still searching. Okay. I'm not going to specify what type yet, but let's just do a quick wiring diagram of what it would look like if I want to wire this LED up. And we'll actually let's let me switch uh, let me switch this out. This is going to go to ground. So there's a couple things we've been talking about with the LED and wiring yet, which we'll get to. Don't worry about that now. I just want to show you what a basic circuit looks like and how it's wired together. So you can see uh, the ground pin is connected to the LED so we have a complete circuit here because I connect it to row 1 and the LED is connected to row 1 and row 2 so the ground is now connected to row 1 and then it goes the electricity goes through the LED into row 2 and then the resistor is connected on two sides one to row 2 and one to row it looks what row is this looks like row 6 okay and then also connected to row 6 is this wire which comes around to pin 13 so we have a complete circuit here uh, using the breadboard and what might be easier and this is maybe not uh, not exactly easier to see but there's some different views here that you can use in fritzing um, and anyone can go ahead and get this program too uh, this is a free open source program just type in fritzing uh, in google and you should be able to find it but here again, you can visualize just the complete circuit that we created without the breadboard now. But obviously, you can see there's a start point and an end point back into the Arduino. So the other thing to note about the breadboard is not only is it divided in the middle by its 
rows, but it also has columns. You can see these columns on the far right and left hand sides and you'll notice um, Fritzing knows that I'm using the columns. It's kind of a nice program. When I click in a column, notice that all of the other dots in the column, all the other slots that you can put wires, light up in yellow. And so that's just letting me know that anything I connect on, you know, say I connect something to a circuit on this side of the column, I can also connect things here and they're all part of the same thing. So one thing that makes this useful is say I want to uh, supply power to my Arduino. What I will do is get a battery. Okay. Get a battery pack here. And what I can do is let's wire something. Uh, let's just wire in. You can wire things in parallel here. Uh, uh, excuse me, in, in series. We'll just light an LED uh, directly from this is what, 3 volts? We'll light this LED up from 3 volts directly. So I'll, I'll put my LED over here. So remember, uh, we want to we want to have it. So a common make mistake people make. So let's rotate this 90 degrees. So this does nothing, right? If I connect a resistor, I'm just I'm just connecting to the same row. That's does not do anything. So that's all I wanted to show there. All right, we'll put you back. So wait, I want to. Uh, I'm going to complete the circuit. I want to put the battery in here. So, let's see if we can add a bend point. Good. Okay. And we will uh, supply. So, again, uh, and what's nice about these columns is that they're uh, labeled red and blue. So, I like to use my positive side of my battery. I like to put that into the red side uh, just to keep everything, all the coloring consistent. Um, and you'll find that this is very helpful, especially when you want someone else to look at the work you've done on a breadboard. If you keep coloring uh, nice and consistent, it makes it a lot easier to understand what's going on uh, in the circuit. So I connected my battery up to the what we call rails. We call this the positive and negative rails of the breadboard. And now I'm going to take the power from the rails and bring it down into my circuit to connect uh, to, to make a complete circuit with the LED. So I'm going to connect this guy. Let's just do a junky job of oh maybe I'll move maybe I'll move it up so it's easier to see. So I connect the LED is now connected on the positive side. Current's going to flow through here. It's going to flow through the resistor. And then you can I think guess where the last point needs to be. I need to make a complete circuit with the battery. So I connect it to ground like that right and that's it pretty much uh, ask a gas someone if oh oh the last thing I would like to talk about are using um, L uh, let's uh, let's use a let's use a chip on this thing because um, I want to show you how to use the uh, bridge to your advantage how to use your how to use the um, divide here in the middle uh, so let's get uh, H bridge. Uh, is this what I want? Okay, so here's an H bridge, SN74. I don't know if this is the one we're going to be using, but um, we are going to be using some ICs in this camp, and we'll get to that in probably a day or two, depending on where you're at in these videos. But just to show you how these guys go in, you don't want to hook them up like this as you can probably guess because remember all of uh, these rows are connected along these pins right and so what we're doing with these chips you'll, you'll you'll be more familiar with these chips as we move along but each one of these pins has a different function all right one of them could be to supply voltage to the pin one of it one of them could be you know an input or an output so you don't want to mix the pins like this if you connect it to the breadboard it's gonna it's gonna connect the, the right side pins to the left side you want to keep them all isolated which is why they have this nice divide here in the middle of the breadboard so you can connect chips across like this 
and then you can wire them up on this side individually and you can wire them up on this side individually all right so that is a basic uh, intro to the breadboard uh, please ask if you have questions or if you're unsure of something because now it's going to get real easy to start damaging equipment if you wire something wrong so be confident but also do not be afraid to ask questions we're here to help you and so are your teammates